Message from the Governor General. On the occasion of the 39th anniversary of our nation's independence, I am delighted to extend greetings and best wishes to Bahamians, residents, and visitors throughout our Commonwealth and those Bahamians working and residing overseas. On the eve of our fourth decade of sovereignty, I commend our national resolve to broaden and deepen our role in regional and international affairs through our athletes, scholars, entertainers, artists, and diplomatic missions. Our country has already earned considerable recognition in the community of nations. At home, we recognize the challenges that face us as a nation, threatening our peace and tranquility. We must together give urgent attention to these matters in order to improve our quality of life and realize our prospects as a people destined for greatness. With the 2012 general elections behind us, it is now time for all Bahamians to reunite and resolve to move forward for the good of all and for the sake of country. The theme, United in Love and Service, speaks to the need for all Bahamians to embrace strengthen and continue to build our country through cooperation, love, partnership, and service to our fellow citizens. It is noted that this year's celebrations will highlight the 50th anniversary of the women's suffrage movement in the Bahamas. It was on the 26th of November 1962, when through the leadership of five pioneering women, Mary Ingram, Georgiana Simonette, Eugenia Lockhart, Mabel Walker, and Doris Johnson, women voted in the Bahamas for the first time. This achievement was no small feat. Indeed, it was an extraordinary effort which supported by men and women locally and abroad took years of planning and organizing before the breakthrough for women was effected. Let us continue to work started decades ago by our early nation builders. Let us serve with a passion for excellence and give unselfishly in all we do, showing love, demonstrating unity, and practicing traditional Bahamian civility and respect for one another. The attainment of excellence can only be achieved through the love we have for God, our country, and our fellow citizens. If we are faithful to his love, we will have that common unity of mind and spirit which will enable us to be loyal, patriotic, and law-abiding citizens. As we celebrate, let us remember that there is only one Bahamas and that our wonderful diversity in race, ethnic origin, and creed must not only be respected, but cherished. Let us remember that we are one people, unified and strong, forging ahead in search of a brighter tomorrow. Let us proudly salute our flag, joyfully sing our songs, proudly tell our stories, glory in our rituals, and cherish our thriving democracy. In celebrating our independence then, 
Let us pause to remember a loving God who over the years has blessed us with talented sons and daughters who have willingly and ably served in the various sectors of our national life, including government, the church, civic and charitable organizations, the public service, the military and armed forces, and all those who help us protect our national borders. They have given of their time, talent, and treasure, even their very lives, to help shape and mold a proud, stable, democratic country with a rich heritage. There are some who live now only in our memory, but their loyalty, dedication, and sacrifice will always be remembered. May God continue to guide and bless our beloved Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Message from the Governor General, Sir Arthur Folks.